KPBS partner iNews Source is launching a series called Veterans Voices. It will follow veterans as the San Diego VA removes them from a drug treatment that's been effective in relieving their depression and suicidal thoughts. iNews Source investigative reporter Brad Racino and video journalist Zoe Myers share a local Marine's story. This is Henry. Henry. It, this, so this isn't the original Henry. This is actually just a leaf I took from Henry and propagated. Um, but Henry was the beginning of my plant obsession. Kaya Bender recently gave us a tour of the garden outside his Vista apartment. Parsley, basil, mint, oregano. The 29-year-old is a Marine veteran with a history of major depression and suicidal thoughts. I, I have like these crazy like dreams of like what it would look like, like this big old food forest. It's just like a bunch of fruit trees and like uh, other food plants. The assumption that he'll be alive to yeah, see yeah. that happen is she proof is to Bender open? that his ketamine drug treatments yeah, are working. This is one of the things that like ketamine did for me was allow me to like stick to something longer than six months and like actually like pursue a passion and develop goals and you know, a life. Ketamine began in the 1960s as a veterinary anesthetic, but in the early 2000s, scientists began to notice its tremendous effect on patients with treatment-resistant depression. They also recognized ketamine's ability to rapidly reduce suicidal impulses, as it did with Bender. I couldn't have imagined being able, being capable of doing the things that I'm doing now every single day. The San Diego VA has for years referred veterans suffering from depression and suicidal thoughts for ketamine treatments at the Kadima Neuropsychiatry Institute in La Jolla. Kadima is run by Dr. David Feifel, a former UC San Diego and VA psychiatrist. Feifel is an expert in ketamine, having administered it for over a decade. Uh, I recognize that this was really something like I've never seen in uh, my uh, years uh, in the field of psychiatry had, had, had limitations for sure, but it also had, um, had characteristics that uh, we had not seen in terms of the ability to improve people's uh, major depression uh, when nothing else did, and also many times to do it very, very rapidly. Despite San Diego VA psychiatrists lauding Feifel's success with their vets, the federal agency began telling patients in May that their time at Kadima would soon end. The VA planned to bring them back in-house for an alternative drug treatment called Spravato. Several vets who've already made the switch have told iNewsource the new treatment isn't working for them. Army veteran Joel Andrews was one of them. And uh, it didn't really do anything, not that I can tell. Some veterans were told to stop Kadima's treatments immediately. Bender and others are finishing their course at the private clinic over the next few weeks or months. A wave of fear has rippled through the group at Kadima with worries that the VA won't match the care and expertise they've received under FIFL. I am scared that, you know, they, they're, what they're doing won't be enough and that I'll end up feeling like I did before ketamine. And I, that, that's... That's terrifying to me because I don't know if I would make it through it again. Just the idea of losing the drug in part prompted one local veteran, a Navy and Marine pilot, to take her life. Now, Kadima's vets are pleading with VA leadership not to stop a treatment that for the first time gave them hope. Some are reaching out to politicians, including San Diego Congressman Scott Peters, whose office is working directly with some of the vets affected. I want what's best for these vets, and the VA does too. Uh, it may be that in many cases this is the only thing that works, so it's the only option, but the problem is that we know very little about the long-term uh, usefulness or effectiveness of intramuscular ketamine uh, for depression, as a treatment for depression, and that worries me. Uh, so our job now is to make sure the mental health professionals at the VA are looking at each case individually and giving uh, each individual what works for them um, because it works, not because it's what's convenient for the VA. But so far, the VA has stayed the course. There are a few dozen vets caught up in this ongoing situation. That's why iNewsource created this series, Veterans Voices, to let them share their stories. 
It will provide a first-hand look at how local veterans are grappling with mental illness and fighting for their own health care within the VA system. For KPBS, I'm iNewsource investigative reporter Brad Racino. You can hear from more veterans and follow the discussion online at inewsource.org slash veteransvoices. And if you or someone you know is considering